Hey everyone, so today we're going to be setting up a new FTP server on Windows 10. We're actually going to be using the FileZilla FTP server because it's super easy to set up and it's free. I wanted to create a video where I upload and download files from an FTP server using C Sharp. And to do that, I needed a little dummy FTP server and I think this is a great way to set that up. Um, if you personally are trying to do some kind of programming project or if you just want to share files with your friends, then this will be a really easy way to get an FTP server set up. If this video helps you out, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that would really help the channel out. But yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing we're going to need to do is actually download the FileZilla server application. I'll provide this URL in the description below so that you can just click that and go here to download it. But if you Google FileZilla server, it's going to be the top result. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and download that now. And they're going to ask us for our support, and we're just going to click download. Okay, so once you have that downloaded, I'm going to launch that application. And at this point, a lot of the default configurations are perfectly okay. Um, I'm going to put this on my G drive and Zilla FTP. Um, apparently it requires six megs, so it's super small. Um, you can choose a specific port. Okay, so we're just gonna walk through the setup now. And a lot of the default options are good. I'm gonna put this on my G drive instead of my C drive. Um, okay, so here you can install it as a service so that it starts up when Windows starts up. Um, you can also install it as a service and have it start up manually, or you can just install it as just a regular application that you launch, which is what I'm gonna do because I'm only gonna use this for testing purposes. I don't plan on actually having it running all the time. And then from here, I'm just gonna have it start manually because I just wanna start it myself. I don't wanna have it running while I'm doing other things like playing video games. Okay, so now our installation is complete and it's gonna go ahead and run. Um, it's gonna ask you to get through the Windows firewall, which is fine. Um, Okay, so from here, we're just gonna say, this is the administration port. This is still not the FTP port. So the FTP port by default is gonna be port 21. Um, I don't think there's a password, yeah. So from here, your server is running, but you do need to go ahead and add a user. So we're gonna go to edit, and then we're gonna go to users. And from here, we're gonna go over here and click add, add a new user, and I'm gonna call that user Darren. Um, I don't have any groups set up, so I'm just gonna click okay. Um, you can set a password here, so I'm just going to go ahead and just set it to D. That's fine. And then shared folders is going to be the next thing. So this is what folders are actually shared with that user. Um, these are the folders that will actually show up and the user will have some access to. So I set up just a little FTP folder on my C drive for this. It's just a dummy little folder that doesn't have anything in it. And from that point... You have your file permission, directory permissions over here, but I'm gonna leave that alone for now and hit okay. And now our server is running and we have a user. So we're gonna go over to FileZilla. This is the client application that I also have installed that I use for managing my websites and stuff. And I'm gonna say the host is localhost and the username is Darren. I set the password to D and by default, the port is 21. So we'll go ahead and hit quick connect and now we're connected. So there's nothing in that folder that I set up. So I'm gonna go there and just add a file so that we can see that. So this is the folder that I set up. Um, I'm gonna navigate there and now I'm just gonna add a new text file called dummy.txt. And now that that text file is there, I'm gonna refresh this window by hitting F5 and now you can see dummy.txt. So now that we've got our little dummy text file, we're gonna try to rename it and say uh, dummy2.txt and we get permission denied. So, okay, why is there permission denied? Well, if you come over to the server and you edit users and you go to shared folders, you're gonna see here, we don't have write permissions on files, delete or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and give some permissions here to be able to do basically everything. So I'm gonna hit okay for that and then come back and now we're gonna try to rename this file again. And now we can rename it to dummy2.txt. And if you browse to that file in Windows Explorer, you can actually see that it was renamed to dummy2.txt. And just for fun, we will create a new directory called test. And if you look over here in Explorer again, it creates the new directory. So 
that's pretty much it. I mean, at this point, we can edit files, we can create directories, we can do kind of everything. The only thing is you're not gonna be able to externally connect to this FTP server the way we've got it set up right now because we don't have the port forwarded through the router. So you would need to go to your router and set up port forwarding. And once you've done that, then you'd be able to use this. So that's another video entirely on how to set up port forwarding on your router, but that's what this error message here is talking about. You also wouldn't want to run an FTP server in just FTP mode. You would want to have it in SFTP mode just for security purposes. You would also want to have TLS enabled as it's saying here so that you have a lot more security than just running a vanilla FTP server over the internet. That's really dangerous to do in this day and age. But yeah, you'll have to set up port forwarding on your router to be able to connect to this FTP server remotely. But once you have that set up, you can definitely connect to it from another machine. The only thing there is you definitely want to have TLS enabled, like this is saying, to try to add a layer of security. Um, you don't want to be just running a vanilla FTP server. Um, there are lots of people that scan for open FTP ports and then use programs to bash them and stuff like that. So it's definitely a security risk to just use port 21 FTP. Like you, you want to, you want to spend a little time, um, researching the security implications of this and how to make it a little more secure before you open it up to the world. So yeah, but if you're just running it locally and you don't have the ports forwarded and stuff, you don't really have any risk at all you have almost no risk at all because you're just connecting to it from your local network. But yeah, that's about it for setting up an FTP server. Thanks for joining me in this. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing, it would really help the channel out. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.